Hi, I'd like to talk to you about the garter tab cast on. A garter tab cast on is a pretty common way of starting a shawl that begins at the center of the neck and works its way out and down. You'll see it a lot on triangular shawls, and you'll also see it on half circle shawls, also known as half pie shawls. The garter tab cast on allows us to have this garter stitch edging all the way along the top edge of the shawl, beginning at the center. How do you make a garter tab cast on? Let's find out. If you look at the instructions in your pattern, it'll tell you how many stitches to cast on in order to get the border that you want. In this case, we are going to use three stitches to have a three stitch garter stitch edge. So I'm just going to use the long tail cast on, but you can use any cast on that you want. Here are my three stitches. The instructions for this particular shawl, the Rose City Yarn Crawl Shawl, tells you to cast on three stitches and knit seven rows. So I am knitting seven rows. There's the first one. Here's two. I always have to count out loud or I can never remember where I am. Here's row three. This is row four. Here's row five. I'm using a heavier than usual yarn so that you can see the stitches. This is row six. And here's row seven. If you're familiar with garter stitch, which is knitting every row, you know that for every two rows you knit, you get a garter stitch ridge. And we are going to pick up in the bumps along this edge. So I've completed seven rows. I have three stitches here, and I'm not going to turn to work back this time. I'm just turning it 90 degrees so I can pick up along the edge. You can either just poke your needle in, or I find it helpful to use my other needle to pick up and you pick up in the bumps. Here's one. Pick up and knit. Two. And here's my third ridge. Three. So I have the three stitches that I had at the end of my knitting, plus the three I pick up, and I'm going to turn 90 degrees one more time it's hard to tell that it's 90 degrees, but this is the bottom edge where I cast on. And I'm going to pick up in the three stitches along the bottom. And sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out where to go, but it doesn't matter too much. As long as you can get something, and that is not something, so let me try over here. Here's one. Just picking up along the bottom edge. I don't want to go quite that far out yet. Two. And here's my last one. So now, you see that I have nine stitches. Three from the first edge. Oops. One, two, three. Three in the center and three on the other edge. These three in the center are the stitches that the entire body of the shawl is going to grow out of. These three on the other ends are the garter stitch edge that's going to go along the sides. So to me this is the right side because on the wrong side you've got the little bumpiness where you've picked up in the stitches. So my next row is going to be three stitches of garter on the edge. And then I'm going to purl across the three body stitches. And now I'm going to knit, because it's garter stitch, the last three stitches. And I'm ready for row one of my pattern. This garter stitch edge is going to grow this way. This garter stitch edge is going to grow this way. These are the three body stitches that are going to make up the body of the shawl, and that'll keep growing. So I'm going to show you one more time what that looks like here. 
your garter stitch is going this way and this way and the body of the shawl grew out of the middle. I hope that makes things clear for you and I look forward to casting on again.